assalamu alaikum our today topic is vaccines vaccines are medicines which are used to develop immunity against many diseases vaccines contain very much weak or dead pathogens pathogens means the agents which cause pathogenesis means infections vaccines create immunity against diseases and are a best way to get prevented from various viral and bacterial diseases the word vacca means cow and the first vaccines was made from using cow by the first time scientist the physician britain physician in 1796 edward jenner in 1796 edward jenner infected a young boy with cowpox by using the pus cells when the boy got recovered from cowpox edward jenner intentionally infected the boy with smallpox the boy did not show any symptoms of smallpox it was concluded that the cowpox cells made the boy able to develop immunity develop the power against uh, smallpox also this substance is called vaccine which makes the boy able to fight with the future infection by intentionally infection with a similar pathogen which is dead or weak the method is called vaccination the administration of vaccine into body is called vaccination there are three ways of vaccination a vaccine is given by mouth by nose or by injection the most commonly way of vaccination is by injection vaccine must be given to the babies who have not started to go to school they must be given before a boy starts to go to the school and some people also need vaccines even if they go young they go adult such vaccines are given to the people at intervals periodically large amount of the vaccines at interval are called booster shots they are called booster shots because they boost the immune system and given at regular interval after particular time of year what is the mode of the action of vaccines the mode of action of vaccines is through the pathogens 
which are dead or weak present in the vaccine. These pathogens contain special proteins called antigens. The vaccines contain pathogens who contain antigens. When these antigens are introduced along with the vaccines into the body, they stimulate the body to produce antibodies. These antibodies bind to the pathogens and cause them to die. Means pathogens stored in the vaccines in the weak or dead form have the set up for themselves to be killed. They have a code called antigen which cause the body of a patient to develop antibodies against the antigens present in the pathogens which destroy the pathogens. But because the pathogens contained in the vaccines are already dead, so no use in that time. But in the future, antibodies are continuously produced for that pathogen which was entered contained in the vaccines in dead or weak form. Also, the pathogens, dead or weak pathogens contained in vaccines are memorized by special memory cells. These memory cells record the identity of the dead pathogens. So, when in future living pathogens enter in the body, our body considers those living pathogens as their enemies and start to produce antibodies by the help of white blood cells. These antibodies will now kill the living pathogens. In the start, pathogens were killed, considered living by immune system of the patient. But in the future, the pathogens were living and killed on the onset or the attack of the pathogen to the body very fast. So the future treatment of the disease is done by help of substances called vaccines. First person to develop a vaccine was Edward Zener and the technique is called vaccination three ways of so vaccination mouth by nose by injection mostly by injection. Usually babies and preschool age must be given vaccines. Many diseases have been treated by vaccines, have been prevented by use of vaccines like smallpox, whooping cough, polio, etc. This is a miraculous discovery of biologists or physicians like Edward Zener. Allah Hafiz.